Hello, this is Mr. Kenyonola, and here's the situation. Imagine yourself being a lawyer, and you are trying to convict this, this boy right here for some unlawful thing. And imagine yourself in court, and the judge says, why do you think that boy's guilty? And you say, because he looks like it? No, it's, that's not enough. Now, let's rewind. Imagine the judge saying, why do you think this boy right here is guilty? And then you say, well, I have evidence. I have sufficient evidence. Number one, I have his cell phone location and he was there at the scene of the crime. Number two, you have fingerprints. Number three, you have eyewitnesses. Number four, you have the tape. You have the surveillance camera, and surveillance still uses tape to record things. And then you say, that's why, that's why this boy right here is guilty. Now, so, you see the difference? You can't just say two things. You can't just say one thing is guilty just because he looks like it. One dog, one boy, one man is guilty. You have to have sufficient evidence. Now, so today, uh, I'm going to teach you about how to prove two triangles are similar with sufficient evidence. You can't just say, eh, -huh, they look similar, so they have to be similar. No. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, use some logic to build up sufficient evidence to prove that two triangles really are similar. All right, here we go. In a previous episode, we talked about dilated figures, and dilated figures are just similar figures, and similar figures are figures who are either enlarged or shrunk so that all the sides are equally enlarged or shrunk or proportionally uh, enlarged or shrunk down. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to check if these two triangles are really similar. We're going to uh, gather up evidence and show a logical proof that these two really are similar or not. And one uh, conclusion that we can use to prove that two triangles really are similar is SSS similarity. Okay, this little squiggly is similarity and these S's mean side. So this is really side, side, side. Similarity. And this really says that if the corresponding, well, that's actually right. If all of the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional then the two triangles are similar so in order to prove that two triangles are similar we have to check if all of the corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional. And one way to show this, to present this to a court of law or to your math teacher uh, is to use a flow chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to prove if these two triangles here really are similar. We can't just say, huh, they look like they're similar. I mean, they're both scalene, so hey, they are similar. So no, that's not enough. We can't just go based off of looks. We have to present the evidence. So we're going to use a flow chart and we're going to go and piece up the evidence. So what we're going to do is because side, side, side similarity, we have to check that all the corresponding sides are proportional. So we're going to compare every pair of corresponding sides. We have to put it in a specific format. 
a flow chart. So let's get flowing. So uh, we're going to look at uh, this first triangle. So we want to prove that triangle EFG is similar to triangle RST. So let's look at this. So we're going to compare sides. Remember, we need two points to make a side. So I'm going to compare EF first with RS. Okay. Uh, so let's look at EF. EF is 26 over remember we want to see if they're all if all the ratios are equal if they're all proportional and compare with rs so if you look at rs rs is 13 so i'm going to put a 13 down here and if we simplify that 26 over 13 is 2. okay and where do we get this or how did we get this evidence this 26 over 13 it was given to us it was in the question it was in the problem they gave us the 26 we didn't have to figure out this was 26 or 13 it was already there so this right here is our statement and our reason that we can make the statement is because it was given to us so we're going to make a bubble we're going to put our evidence here, 26 over 13, and we simplify that as equal to 2. Why? Because this evidence is given to us. We have some other evidence that's given to us. So uh, now we're going to compare F and G, so F and G, and S and T. So F, G is 28 over, now S, T is 14. Okay. Another way uh, to look at this is FG is 28. It's the longest out of all three. 14 is the longest out of all three sides. So we just compare the longest side with the longest side. And 28 over 14 is 2. And so far, so good. These two are proportional, but we want to make sure that all the corresponding sides are proportional. How do we get this 28 over 14? It was given to us. And now let's look at E. E and G and R and T. EG is the shortest side and RT is the shortest side. So let's write 18 over 9 and 18 over 9 is 2. And look at that. And how do we get to that? That was given to us. So it's really important that uh, you make your bubbles. Okay, this is, and I know this is so different from what you've done before in, in your algebra class. Um, we're, we're setting up a format for our logical proof. And we want to prove that all three sides are, are, are proportional. And we want to give reasons for that. Okay, so we said that this side is the, the ratio is 2, this ratio simplifies to 2, and this ratio simplifies to 2 so it shows that all three pairs of sides are proportional because their ratios are 2 and the reason was that they were all given all these side lengths were all given to us we didn't have to figure it out so now that we know that we're, these are this is talking about a side this is a side and this is a side now we can go to the conclusion that triangle E F G is really similar to triangle R S T and we could circle that bubble. So here's our statement. Here's our conclusion. Conclu conclusive statement is that this is similar to this. This triangle really is similar because of side, side, side similarity because all three sides are proportional. They have equal ratios. There you go. So that's your first flow chart to prove that two triangles are similar. Remember, for every bubble that you make, every statement you make, you have to have a reason. How did you get that evidence? And we got this evidence because it was given to us. It was already in the question. Uh, these are the easiest reasons to get correct. And so don't get them wrong. And for, for uh, these examples that we're going to do in this video, uh, I think all of the reasons are going to be given. If it's already in the question, just put given. So don't get that wrong. And the reason that this triangle is similar to this triangle, because all three sides are proportional. So side, 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 similarity. 
in a later video we'll get another uh we'll get two other reasons why two triangles could be similar but this one will focus on side 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 similarity okay now again same question use a flow chart to prove that the two triangles are similar do you see two triangles i hope you do okay i'm going to highlight the two triangles i'm going to highlight this small triangle right here okay and i'm going to highlight the big triangle okay i'll highlight around it's this big blue triangle right here okay so don't use this this right here looks like a trapezoid to me okay use this big triangle you want to prove that this big triangle the blue triangle is similar to this orange triangle so use every side of that so okay let's let's go from small triangle to big triangle so first one uh, 8 over and remember you just want to be consistent if you want to if you want to use the 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 big triangle uh, side to go on the numerator you can just make sure you do that for all three triangles but this one I'm gonna start off with the small triangles eight okay and I'm gonna compare it with the bigger triangles full side this full side now you might be uh, you might be tempted to use 36 no 36 is just from here to here even though it doesn't appear that way uh, yeah, they're just messing with you, okay? Because it's this, it doesn't say this 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 diagram is drawn to scale. So we want to get the full length of this. So 36 plus 8 is 44. And we can simplify 8 over 44. Um, you could use a calculator to get in decimals. Uh, so let's use a calculator and get in decimals. 8 divided by 44 is... 18, 18, 18, 18.2. So it's about 0 0.18, and let's put the bar over that. Okay. So there's our first one. Remember, we, the only re, the only conclusion we could come up with, the only reason for a conclusion, is side 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 similarity. For now. Uh, so let's let's compare all the sides. And this reason, it's, it's given. Now let's compare the next pair of corresponding sides. Let's go 16 over 88. And let's use our calculators. 16 divided by 88. And I'm pretty sure that's equal because, yeah, 16 over 88 is just double this. So 0 0.01818 with a bar all over that. How do we get that 16 and 88? It was given to us, given. And there's no room on there, so I'll just make another circle down here. Now, what are we going to compare? Remember, we want the length of this part right here. Don't put 77, because 77 is this entire length. But we could figure this out right here. Okay, let's use let's use some math. If we know this is 63, we know the entire length is 77. Well, 77 minus 63 is 14 so the length of this is 14 so we'll write 14 over now the entire length because we're looking at this blue triangle now we're not going to use 63 we're going to use the entire length which is 77 okay and let's use our calculators 14 divided by 77 <laughs> There you go, 0 0.1818, and it keeps on going. So let's put that bar right there. We'll put that circle right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, and the reason for this, given, the reason for this, well, we had to figure out this 14, but they gave us all the information we needed to figure out that this was 14. Just a little logic, but really we just, we just subtracted. So they gave it to us, given. That's the reason that 14 over, we got the 14 and the 77. We have three sides that are proportional. So now we can say that triangle C, W, V. Okay, so C, W, V is similar to triangle. Now we compare that 8 with the 44. So we go C, E, D. This order really matters. So, C, W, V 
same or C E D. So we'll go try with C E D. And don't forget the arrows, okay? Because these three bubbles, these three statements with their reasons, allow us to come to the conclusion that these two triangles are similar because of side, 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 which says if all three pairs of corresponding sides are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. All right. And last example. Now let's prove that EFG is really similar to triangle UVW. So let's go EF to UV. Uh, EF is 70 over UW, which is 30. And let's use our calculators. I mean, we can simplify this. We know that's, that's 7 over 3. Uh, so 70 divided by 30 is 2.3333 with a bar. Okay, and that reason, given. Next one, um, FG with VW. FG is 49 over VW is 20. Let's just make sure that we select the right one. So FG is 49, VW is 20. Both are the shortest out of all three sides for both of their triangles. Let's use our calculators. 49 divided by 20 is 2.45. Oh, look at that. That's different. That's so different. That's super different from there to there. Okay, so. We could just stop right there. We could say yeah, no, because remember, side, 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 similarity, similar figures, their sides are proportional. That means their ratios are equal. These two are not equal. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you put a circle there, you could be put given, but not similar. Okay. All right, that's it. Not similar because those are not proportional. Okay, we, we could go on. We could compare the 91 over the 39. Let's just do that. So 91 divided by 39, 2.33. So two out of the three are proportional, but we have to get all three sides are proportional. So if they're not, then not similar. So that's, that's it right there. That's your final answer. Okay, so... One challenge that I see students having is just the formatting. They forget to put these reasons. They forget to put the arrows. They forget to put the little similarity symbol. Make sure you put all of that. If you put SSS and without the similarity or some different symbol, um, it'll be wrong. And you don't want to be wrong. You want to be right. Uh, so there you go. There's your first proof using a flow chart to prove that triangles really are similar or not using side 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 similarity yeah all right have a nice day